Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, I just want to come back with another video about scraping uh, Facebook. I know a lot of you have had issues with the previous video I made and it saying it doesn't work anymore. So I just want to show you guys an updated method to hopefully further your guys' progress along. Um, this met method is a little more, uh, I don't want to say advanced, but it is, I guess, because it allows you to really uh, target your the, the appropriate cities that you're trying to target. So let's just jump into it. Um, this is the search operator that we're going to use. Um, and I kind of broke it down here to show you what each step of this means. So looking at this first portion right here uh, in, in URL, facebook.com, all this is doing is telling Google only search facebook.com. This portion right here in title about, and you can see it right there. Um, this one, this tells Google only return pages that has about in the title. This portion right here in text Tustin, this is city I live in. Um, anyways, so this tells Google only show pages that have the word Tustin in the text, the text of the web page. And then we're adding this on the end because this is the niche that we're trying to target. I mean, I'm just going to use this as an example, but in text gym or fitness or CrossFit, it has to be capital letters. And what these do is it tells Google, look for pages that have gym, fitness, or CrossFit in the text page, not all of them together, but each one individually. So, uh, without, you know, I guess that that's explains that let's test it out. I've already entered it. I've already, you know, press enter on it, do it again. And I mean, you can, you can quickly see that it's pretty powerful. Got the about page for row house in Tustin, California. Same thing with this one. Um, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't list an address, but you see over here, Tustin Fit uh, Bootcamp, Tustin, California, and Row House again. But that's all right. We'll remove duplicates later. So after you, you know, see proof of concept, it works. We're going to copy this, and we're going to put this into the harvester and scrape box. Um, from here, you know, turn on proxies if you're using proxies. I strongly recommend them because if you don't use them, Google's just going to ban you real quick. Click start harvesting. Make sure Google is checked. From here, make sure none of these options are checked. So we're using our own proxies. And then from there, just click start. And you're going to see it uh, eventually start getting emails or we're not emails, URLs. So, so far 104. We'll just let that run for a second. 209 now. And should be finishing. Yeah, there it is. It's done. Click exit to main screen. Now it got us 280 results. Now from here, we need to get rid of the duplicates. So click remove filter. Remove duplicate URLs. Do not click duplicate domains because it's going to erase everything because everything is facebook.com. So remove duplicate URLs. Now we're down to 268. Now from here, we want to tell the program, look at these URLs and pull the email. So we're going to go to, go to grab check, grab emails by crawling sites. We're going to make sure use harvester URLs is checked. The depth, we're going to set to one. So it only looks at the URLs that we just scraped. And if you wanted to set filters, for instance, if you didn't want any email with the word admin in it, you just type it here. Or let's say you didn't want anything with the, the with info in it, just type info, so on and so forth. Maybe you want to put contact, maybe you want to put support. But it's, we'll run those four. Those are, you know, we don't really want those. So close that out. Our, our, uh, our filters are set, can't talk. And then we're going to click start. And now you're going to see slowly, you're going to get emails. So we're at 19 so far. And you can see where it's the progress of it. Now we'll just let that run and do its thing. All right, so it's all done. It grabbed all the emails. It filtered by the filters we set. And we can take a look at it here. And we have how many emails? 73 emails of, um, if we have 73 emails uh, gyms, CrossFit gyms, anything related to that in Tustin. So a very targeted list. Now, if you wanted to come back and do 
you know, different city, we just come right here to Intex Tustin and put any other city. Like for instance, let's do Santa Ana because this will give you another talking point. So if, if the word or if the city has more than one word in it, for instance, Santa Ana, we have to put Santa dash Ana. That's gonna look for Santa with the space Ana. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna click start harvesting. Make sure Google's checked. Our proxies are on. So make sure none of these are checked and just click start and just rinse and repeat. Do the same thing again and do this for every single city that you want to target. If you have a list of 50 cities, guess what? You're going to do this 50 times, but in the end, it's going to be worth it because you're going to have very targeted lists. Okay. Now, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out. Um, I'll list my email in the description and you know, thank you for your time. And we just got 295 more URLs. And I'll run that same process again and I'll build my list. Thank you.